Hey guys, and girls, and everyone else, brothers and sisters, everyone around the world who's watching this. If you missed the live feed earlier, I'm just going to let you know what this is about. So last night, a veteran by the name of Giovanni Nez, he's a former Marine, he served in Desert Storm, he's been in Saudi, he's been in Somalia, He's been in Haiti. If you could come in on, please share this straight away. This is massively important. This needs to go viral. Please, 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 please share this. If you don't share any of my other videos, share this one. So last night, he arrived from New Mexico with his family, checked into the Ramada Inn Limited in Bismarck, which is run by a guy called, the general manager is Marnie Schklusler. His name is up there, the number for the hotel. 701-221-3030 Last night he checked in with his family. He has a wife and a two-year-old boy. He used his last he used two paychecks to be able to come here and played for the hotel for three days. He stayed for one night. When he got there, a guy came up and complained about the noise his two-year-old boy was making and stared at him with eyes of hatred and stared at his little boy with eyes of hatred. And that was in the words of Giovanni. This morning, as they were getting ready to leave the hotel, the hotel asked him to leave because of a noise complaint. They threw this veteran out with his two-year-old and his wife. They had the police there. There's a live video of that that Giovanni made. I have personally called to Giovanni I personally made a call to Giovanni. We have a place for Giovanni, his friend who's a veteran, his wife, and their little boy to stay tonight. I've also personally called the Ramada in Bismarck, the Ramada Inn Limited in Bismarck, and I spoke to someone there and tried to speak to the general manager and tried to get them to respond. Unfortunately, they wouldn't, weren't able to. Uh, they said Monday would be the earliest time that he could respond. I've personally called the Wyndham because Wyndham Hotels is a franchise and all the Ramadas are privately owned. I put a number up there for the CEO, the presidential line for Wyndham that people can call. Unfortunately, again, we won't be able to reach them until Monday. I have a recorded call through to, the Ramada, uh, through to both the Ramada but also through to Wyndham to customer service. And the person I spoke to, Nora, at customer service told me that this was horrible, that this was unacceptable, and that she wanted to be able to call back in and to look at being able to get a refund sorted out for Giovanni Nez, but obviously I can't do that. However, what I can right do right now is ask you guys to make sure that the Ramada Inn Limited does not have any business at all. Make sure that place is boycotted. So, I ask you to do this peacefully. I don't ask you to make death threats. This doesn't do anything. I ask you to stay peaceful and prayerful. If you're going to call them, I ask you just to ask them why they have that policy, what happened, why they would do that. And there's a PayPal at the top of this video, personally for Giovanni, because he's penniless right now. He spent his last two paychecks coming up, two paychecks to book the hotel room for three days and to get here from uh, New Mexico. This is disgusting. Now, there is a number for the Wyndham Hotel. The Wyndham have been extremely helpful in this, so please don't call customer service and yell at them. The policies are made by the individual hotels. Thank you, Don, I'm not driving. Just to show you I have a driver. Um, so, if you guys could please share this everywhere. Please continue to share this. For everyone who's just joining, I'm gonna tell the story again because this is horrible. If you watch the video from Giovanni, which I will post again, what you will see is at the end of it, he lost his son, I believe it was probably about a year ago to the day when he was kicked out of the hotel. I believe that's what he was saying. He broke down and tried to stop his live stream, didn't know how to stop videoing. Um, so, I will post that again. However, what I want to let you guys know is that Giovanni Nez, he's a former Marine, he's a veteran who served in Desert Storm, he's a Marine sharpshooter, he's been in Haiti, Somalia, he's been in um, 
Saudi. He's been over in uh, Barry. He was thrown out of the hotel because his two-year-old was making too much noise, allegedly. Two-year-olds make noise, people. You, we all know that's a crazy reason to toss anyone out of a hotel. But if you're going to throw someone out of a hotel, rightly or wrongly, you don't throw them out having booked for three nights and keep their money. Put them on the street with a little two-year-old and his wife. The reason they did that is in Bismarck. The owner of the hotel, the general manager of the Ramada Inn Limited, I do have his name. His name is Marnie. Marnie Schlusler. They need to make this right. Wyndham chain of hotels are going to make this right. I have no doubt the number for the CEO is there. If you want to call up and let the CEO know what happened on the presidential line, please do. Someone told me that Giovanni's little boy was sick since birth and passed away just before his fifth birthday. So the PayPal I've posted, I've spoke personally with Giovanni. He's on his way to camp. He pulled over. If you want the number for the hotel, it's at the top, but it's 701-221-3030. Uh, Giovanni's video I will put in the links here as well for you guys. Uh, the, the officer the officer was there uh, in Giovanni's video. So it's all videoed. My call to the hotel is videoed. Uh, my call to the, to the Wyndham customer service is videoed. The PayPal works fine. Uh, please make sure we can send him something. I have some people coming in tonight with a toy trailer, 38 foot trailer, um, that is going to be home base for me and it has room for other people. So tonight, Giovanni, his wife, his little boy and another veteran that is where they're gonna have a safe place to stay in the warm. This is a guy that served our country and because of what's going on right now, he's chosen to step to the other side and stand up and say no more. No more should the peaceful water protectors be brutalized. No more should we put peer profit over people no more should we rape mother earth and for coming all the way from new mexico and wanting to keep his wife and his his little boy safe ends up losing the two paychecks that it's cost him to get here so guys we need to make this right i know this is going to go viral please help make this go viral keep pushing this out yeah, you can prove that the, if the Ramada, it's the Ramada in Limited. There are two Ramadas in Bismarck. Again, if you're just joining and choose to phone, choose to phone with a peaceful, prayerful manner. Just ask the question, why would you treat a veteran like that? Don't you realize that two-year-olds do make noise? And he has a video showing the room was not trashed. He has everything. He has the officer there. So yeah, absolutely. So please go ahead and Yes, Facebook probably is slowing this in pur on purpose. I don't know, it has started to slow, I see that. Anyway, just keep pushing this out. I'm gonna repeat the story one more time so you guys know who are just joining because people are joining the whole time. It's vitally important you guys share this video. Yeah, he does need a refund with interest. Through you guys, with his PayPal, he's gonna get interest for sure. He's gonna get what he deserves. Thank you so much. The room was clean. Yeah, two-year-olds do make noise. It's an alleged noise complaint. But you don't throw a veteran and his wife and his two-year-old out onto the street with the police there. You don't treat someone that way. So, yes, the number for the Ramada Inn Limited, 701-221-3030. I did my best to try and speak to the general manager. They would not call the general manager on another line. They would. I did not leave my number because I didn't want to. I was told I could call on Monday. Monday's no good. We need to solve this now. So feel free to set up a hashtag, uh, boy, Boycott Ramada in Limited Bismarck. It's horrible. The PayPal account is up at the top. So please, if you can donate, if you can't donate, simply share this message. Um, yeah, they, they got in last night around 9, 9.30, and they were asked to leave this morning, having had booked for uh, three, have three nights. We've made sure they have a safe place to stay. I've spoke to corporate. We've got the number up there for the presidential line for Wyndham who franchised them. What I would like to see happen is Wyndham to pull this franchised hotel for bringing that name into disrepute because Wyndham is a great hotel chain. I've worked with them in the past. I've spoke to them on a very high level actually in a previous position I had. So if you want the PayPal, look at the top of this post. The Ramada Inn Limited Bismarck, 
not all the Ramadas it is privately owned but if you want to call that Ramada and ask them questions feel free if you want to call Wyndham and ask them about how they would be happy to have someone with a franchise treating people that way a veteran that way because I have a recorded call that's going to be posted and I'm going to share shortly of me calling through to the Wyndham customer service to explain the situation and their customer service rep saying that's terrible and we want you to call back and to be able to put a complaint in and to get a refund so guys this was about the Ramada Inn Limited in Bismarck throwing a veteran out for an alleged noise complaint from his two-year-old. He's safe. He has a place to stay tonight. It's got, yeah, right now it's 31 degrees in Cannonball. Tomorrow it's going to be zero degrees. They threw a family out onto the street with nowhere to stay that had driven from North New Mexico. Now let me say this as well. The reason he had the hotel, he wasn't going to stay at the hotel. The hotel was for his family to be safe, for his little boy and his wife to have a safe place. If you watch his video, you'll see he breaks down at the end of his video about it. So, it is the Ramada Inn Limited, and it's in Bismarck. It's just off of I-94 near Bismarck Airport. If you look it up online, you'll find it. The general manager there is a name by the name of Marnie Schlusler. So guys, love you very much. Sorry to bring you news like this, but we need to do something about this and make sure that this, this hotel does not get any business. Make sure that, that if we can, we speak to Wyndham and make sure this franchise is lost because that is a disgusting way to treat someone who's put their life on the line for this country. And whether I believe in violence at all, that's a personal thing. But for someone to stand up and put their life on the line for this country, and now because of what's going on and the way that peaceful people have been treated by the North Dakota, uh, by sorry, by the Morton County Police Force, to come and stand to protect those people and to be treated in this way is nothing short of disgusting. But please, go ahead and make sure to be peaceful. Don't want death threats. Don't want abuse. That doesn't help anyone. We have to solve this with love, but we have to solve this firmly. And if we can make it so that that hotel loses their franchise and Wyndham say, you know, we don't want to be associated with a hotel that's going to treat people that way. You can no longer work under the name of Wyndham then that can be done peacefully and that can make a huge difference and that can send a message to anyone else who chooses to treat veterans this way that what's going to happen to their business when they do. So thank you very much guys. We're going to be a bit later now to Standing Rock. It took a while for us to uh, get that information, to have a personal call with Giovanni and fact check it and to speak to the hotel itself and to speak to Wyndham on multiple occasions to go through to customer service and make sure this information was correct. So thank you so much, guys. Go ahead and keep sharing this. If you can, please go ahead and donate. Donna Lee, Donna Lee, please pass this on to our, our mutual friend who we spoke about yesterday, who has a massive following of 20, 250 million viewers a week. Let's get this out there right now all right guys take care send some love send to, to, to Giovanni send some love to his little boy and his wife because they're doing an amazing thing choosing to step up and be here love you guys thanks so much I'll be back with you guys again soon take care bye bye